Mayor Hawkins, what are your comments about the events that happened two years ago? Tartrick, why are you sticking your fingers up his ass? As tech a tradition, dog! Oh, get back here! I ain't done with you yet! Oh, chaos! This is a fucking massacre! Ugh! Considering that both Salazar and Sigma are part of Hawkins' mansion. To be honest with you, I never told those two to do it. So therefore, I demand that both Salazar and Sigma apologize for what they did, or be forced out of St. Louis. Thank you, Mayor Hawkins. Back to you, Harvey. Kyle cannot be serious! <sighs> Yep. We definitely shot ourselves in the foot with this one. After Davina helped him get elected as mayor, this is the first thing this fuck does. Why are people still talking about it? It should be dead and buried. Congratulations for winning the Dumbass of the Year award, you dumb sack of fucking shit. Hope it was worth it. Yeah, Power Trip. What you did to that tiger two years ago was just disgusting, regardless of it being <clears throat> Azteca tradition. Agreed, Osha. Are you all really surprised? I knew this would be the first thing Kyle would go for once he took office. And last I checked, Salazar, you fucking dolt. Sticking your fingers up a tiger's rear is not quote unquote Azteca tradition. You trying to make the Qureshi look bad by saying that? If so, you did a really damn good job at pissing my parents off when you said that. We spent at least a good month of PR control after you said that live on air, when you know damn fucking well we would never support that. Ever. Oh come on, not you two! Can you back me up just this once, Davina? Are you retarded, Salazar? Last time I checked, Sigma didn't force your hand up there. You're very damn lucky that he hasn't raided Hawkins' mansion yet. Let me put this very simple, Salazar. You will be apologizing to the St. Louis Zip for what you did. Otherwise, you will be dealing with a very, very pissed off third generation princess. And I will drive your head through that wall, just like I did to Zabek at your father's temple when we first met. You understand me? You know what? The St. Louis Zoo can go to hell! They can kiss my Arabic ass! <laughs> oh no you don't, you herb fuck! You are apologizing! Oh, excuse me! Who was the one who brought me to the zoo in the first fucking place? Oh yeah! That was you! You racist redneck! So kindly, go fuck yourself! I'm out of here! Jesus. Power Trip has a major anger problem. Don't. Even. Go there. Just don't. Someone seriously needs to kick his ass and put him in his place. Oh, I'm sorry, Ryan, but I've already kicked his ass, like, mm, how many times now? Twice? And he still got the balls to talk shit. Then lend me in front of that annoying Arab fuck. I've been wanting to beat that echidna down for quite some time already. Oh yeah, that's right. Anubis upgraded your armor. I think that's his way of teaching Salazar a lesson. Precisely. It'll teach him a thing or two about being humble. No! I will DROP HIS ASS IF HE DOESN'T APOLOGIZE! Sigma, you better knock some sense into him. I'm not getting kicked out of St. Louis over something stupid you and my husband did. I know it's embarrassing for him, but sooner or later, he's gonna have to own up to it and apologize. Oh, don't worry. I will. About fucking time. This has been coming for a good while.
going somewhere? Mark, I'm warning you. Get your Nordic ass out of my way. Now! And just what are you going to do about it? Gonna double team me now, are we? Fine! Bring it on, you suicidal fox! Chaos Flash Magnus! Hawk and Beam Fire. <laughs> Is... is he down? You bastards! I'm gonna... He is now. Thank the All-Father. This air of thought never shuts his mouth. So now what do we do? Simple. We tie him up and bring him straight to Dr. Light's office. You're kidding. No ordinary rope is gonna hold his ass down. Ryan, get your ass down here! You're coming with us! Great! I'm the one who always has to help out. Wonderful! Fucking wonderful! That's why I have Asgardian rope. He won't be able to rip himself free, tangled up in this. As for you, Ryan, quit being a whiny little bitch and help us. Fuck you too, Mark! All right then, let's go. Yeah, now I can see why you brought him to me. So, Doc, what seems to be the problem? It has a lot to do with what went down on the news. Apparently Salazar is refusing to accept that what he did was wrong. So with that being said, this is my only solution. And that is? A family intervention. I guarantee that Salazar's wife and family will talk some sense into him while he is backed into a corner. What is that gonna do? Despite him being a hard egg to crack, the only powerful thing to help straighten out the brain is the words from family members. Let's do it. If there is anyone besides Divina that will talk sense into him, it's Anubis. Very well. I will be sending a letter to Lord Anubis and Lady Isis in the morning for them to come to St. Louis for the intervention. Hopefully Anubis doesn't get up in my face like last time. You must be Salazar's family. Do you wish for me to remain here in case anything goes awry or...? That's okay, Doctor. We'll take it from here. You can wait outside. We won't be long. As you wish. Take as long as you need. I'll be outside the door when you guys are done. Salazar, I think it's about time we address the elephant in the room. And I think we both know it would come to this eventually. I'd say that's pretty fucking apparent at this point, seeing that you two are now gonna turn against me like all the others. No one's turning on anyone, Salazar. If me, Davina, or your father didn't care about you, we wouldn't be here. Talk to us, why do you refuse to apologize to the St. Louis Zoo for what happened two years ago? This all falls on Sigma. He was the one who brought me in the zoo in the first fucking place. And he insisted I take my frustrations on the tiger, but does he get the blame? No! Instead, I get the fucking blame. I don't want to face that embarrassment anymore. If Sigma told you to jump off a bridge, would you? I'm being serious right now. Probably not. No, do you see our point? The St. Louis Zoo is only asking for you and Sigma to say two words. That's it. They're not asking you to make an hour-long speech as if you're running for a congressional seat. We're not mad at you, okay? You made both us and the Kurashi look bad by saying what you did two years ago. That's not what we're here for. 
We just want the best for you. Better to own up to our mistakes than regret it for the rest of our lives, right? <sighs> You're right on, Isis. You're right. Now that right there is the Salazar we know and love. Haha. Uh -huh. Couldn't have said it better myself, Isis. Look, I'm sorry for how I went off on you back at the mansion. I was very furious of how bad you made the Qureshi when you said what you did was Aztec a tradition. Even though I never showed it, I was extremely pissed off at you for the past two seasons. There have been several times where I could have resorted to violence against you. But I didn't. You know why? That wouldn't be what my father and Anubis would have wanted. I still love you and I'll support you no matter what. Let me make this very crystal fucking clear, don't you ever say something like that again. I'm not going to be as forgiving next time. You hear me? I know you don't do well in large crowds, since you and Davina started making public appearances after the two of you got married. How about this then? Me and your aunt Isis will be there for backup support in case you get overwhelmed. Sound good? Yeah, I can't argue with that proposal. I feel somewhat better now. Now I have an apology to make at the St. Louis Zoo along with Sigma. Can you please untie my husband now that this is over? I'm starting to get angry the longer I see him tied up like that. So therefore, I want to apologize for my actions two years ago. I should have thought twice before doing what I did. If the bet never happened, I wouldn't have put myself in this situation to begin with. Very well, Salazar. You are both forgiven, but don't you ever do something like that again. Now, was that so hard? You know what? How about we grab some dinner? My tree. Alright. We taking your urus? Oh, uh, excuse me? Who said we were driving there? Kayata Austin! Uh, Salazar? Where in the blue hell are we? Let's see! Who's the Warby Molester now, you backstabbing motherfucker! <laughs> no, 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 no! God damn it! Uh, hey! Nice kitty! Um, wonderful weather we're at!